uh, when, uh, when the church was highly present there. Houston First Church used to be located in the Houston Heights. I moved out in the 80s and, and has sojourned in, and is doing great work in the location they are now. But the Houston Heights has changed drastically since those days, and it needs uh, a missionary mindset to go in and reach people there who need the gospel. Pastor Scotty Young, Mosaic Community. And if you know me, uh, you do know that I'm a hugger. I very rarely shake hands, and so sorry about that. That's what I was born with. So, well, anyway, in John 1.14, we're told that the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. He walked the streets with people, ordinary people like you and I. Uh, he walked with sinners. He walked with saints. He walked with people who probably were in same-sex relationships, as well as those, those who were in biblical relationships. But he walked with everyday people, and he lived an ordinary life with people like you and I. And in that, he had an intentionality of making disciples of himself. And we know that that plan works because 2,000 years later, you and I are here because of that disciple-making process. Amen? Amen? All right. Well, while you and I may have different contexts of where we minister, we've all been called to the same mission that Jesus has given all of us. And that is to go and make disciples in all the world Right? and baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and to teach them everything that Jesus has commanded us to obey, and to remember that he would be with us to the very end. And that's a beautiful promise, because when we moved to the Heights, uh, we realized that we didn't fit in. Um, I, I can identify with my brother, uh, my brother Rob, and that is that I'm not a hipster, um, but I do, you know, I can wear, like, Socks with my Crocs. That's for you, Matt, wherever you may be. Um, and that's kind of part of the hipster culture, I guess. You can make anything cool. Uh, but also, I'm not, an art, I'm not an artist, but I love art. I'm not a musician, but I love musician. And I just love the culture, honestly. Um, also, when we moved in, we realized, like, it was God saying, this is home for you. This is now where I'm calling you out of. We moved from Florida, uh, the Sunshine State for the great state of Texas. And uh, I don't see Dr. Graves here, but he is one that knows that we have been trying to get to Texas for years, and uh, God was just trying to prepare us for the greatness. And so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Johnson, for having us. Well, for Mosaic, our, our mission is pretty simple, actually. And that is that we are a family on mission, or we are families on mission together for the purpose of making Christ-like disciples who make Christ-like disciples who incarnate the kingdom of God in Houston. And I want to emphasize that we are families together. We are on mission together as families, but it's to make Christ-like disciples who make Christ-like disciples. And that is that we wanted to intentionally point that out, that Christ-like disciples really do make Christ-like disciples. In fact, that's the one thing Jesus told us to do was to make disciples and he would build his church. And so we are taking him literally on that, and we're saying, all right, God, we're going to focus on making these disciples out of people who don't even really know you exist. In fact, if you look statistically around our house, just a two-mile radius, there's over 100,000 people packed in one area, just two miles. And out of that, approximately 20% would call themselves a Christian. Um, we do not use the term non-Christian. We call them sojourners. Um, for the other 80%. They are sojourners to us because they are on a path going somewhere. But God has called us to be missionaries in this community. And the second part I want to point out is incarnating the kingdom of God. Uh, one of the things that we learned really quick was uh, just like the picture that you saw earlier about the, the church um, that's kind of buried in the ground. Uh, people were kind of fed up with the church there. Uh, for whatever reasons, I, I, I don't know. However, what we have found is people love the idea of the kingdom of God and what that looks like in Houston, right? And Jesus told us that the kingdom of God is near. And so we come today, and we have the awesome opportunity to incarnate that in Houston, all of Houston, and then it can go to the other parts of the world. So thank you for allowing us to be here in Houston. Uh, thank you for allowing us to be on this wonderful district, and we look forward to bringing great news uh, to your church. In fact, if you are a pastor, we would love to share uh, what God is doing with you. 
So we'd love to contact you and get connected. If you're a delegate, uh, bug your pastor. We would really love to talk to him. So thank you. Oh, yeah. uh, also, we, we did put together a video uh, with the great help of Preston. So. My soul cries out. My soul cries out for you. These bones cry out. These dry bones cry for you. To live and move. Cause only you can raise the dead. Can live my Constantly creates us into something new. Jesus, surely you will find us. Surely our Messiah will make all things new. Will make all things new. My soul cries out, my soul cries out for you. These bones cry out, these dry bones cry for you. To live and move, so you could rest. Well, that's uh, just two of the 